What's up YouTube? This is your boy Kirby Curbs on Infected Scene on channel. For those who don't know who I am, my name is Kirby Curbs. Uh, what I normally do on my channel is uh, deck profiles, dual news, and uh, and dueling videos. So if you're curious about that, go check out my channel. I have burning knucklers, umbrellas, or umbrellies, whatever they're called, uh, war gods, and whatnot. I try to... Uh, do deck profiles before they come out to us in the TCG. So if you're curious on how to build a certain deck, go check out my channel. And also I have cool effects on dueling videos. Uh, I'll be doing a burning knuckler um, duel video with special effects. So if you're curious on what kind of special effects I do, go check out my channel. I know my tongue just got tangled there, but I'm, I don't really care at this point. So anyways, um, we both, me and Xenon, decided to do... Um, Scrap Redox. Uh, if you're curious on his variant of the deck, please go check out my channel. It will be on the description below on my crotch or in annotated around this video. So please go check that out. So anyways, let's get on to the deck profile. So anyways, my variant of the deck focus on nothing but tinkering for level 8 and rank 4s only. And somewhat level uh, rank 7s, but you know... That's just thrown in there, but let's get on to the deck profile. We're running Triple Chimera. For those who don't know what Chimera does, it's basically like a Debris Dragon. Uh, basically, he special summons Scrap Monsters from the Graveyard. But if you decide to use Scrap Chimera as a Synchro Material, you can only Synchro Summon for a Scrap Monster. So keep that in mind. We're running Triple Scrap Beast. Uh, basically, this is the only tuner in the deck is what makes your Synchro plays go off. Also, whenever he's destroyed by a scrap effect, you can grab one of your scrap monsters from your uh, graveyard and add it to your hand. So that's actually pretty good when you combo it off with scrap uh, storm. So we're running three scrap bees because it's the main heart of the engine of the deck, even though Chimera speeds it up, basically. We're running two scrap goblin. For every time I see scrap goblin, I just think about the green goblin for some reason. I don't know why, but it's not green, so I don't know. That's just me. Scrap Goblin, basically it just prevents you from getting OTK'd. Also, um, whenever he's destroyed by a Scrap Effect, same thing with Beast. Grab one from your graveyard and add it to your hand. So it's actually pretty cool. We're running two Reactants. Uh, basically just to grab Red Ox from the um, deck. And, you know, just going to rank 7s and whatnot. Uh, we're running Red Ox for two reasons. One, for rank 7s. And two, for br basically bringing back anything from the graveyard. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, everything is earth in your deck basically except the summoner monks. The reason why I'm running summoner monks is basically just in case if you have a dead scrap storm or a dead spell card in your hand that you don't really need. Uh, summoner monk can special summon beast from the deck and you can go into uh, scrap dragon or crimson blader or even go into rank fours. We're running two gold sarcophagus. The reason why we're running two gold sarcophagus, oh my god I can't even say that. Um, gold sark. There. Uh, we're running two gold sarks for two reasons one uh just basically to banish red ox to grab a you know reactant or whatnot e and also if you have triple red ox like damn i'm so unlucky i joined to triple red ox and a gold sark you can just basically banish anything and wait for two turns it basically shuffles up your deck if you're having bad draws so i mean that's really good uh one monster reborn two scrap storm Basically, what I see Scrapstorm as is basically the Gemini Spark up the deck, basically. But it doesn't really pop. It just pops the Scrap Monster that is selected. Basically, you can select a Scrap Monster from the field and send one from your deck. And then destroy that selected target and draw one. So remember, guys, all your Scrap Monsters get their effects whenever they send to the graveyard by a Scrap effect. So Scrapstorm is a really good card. And also, it prevents, you know, dodging bottomless trap hole and whatnot. So we're running a uh, dark hole, double MST, heavy storm, and triple scrapyard. Now, for those who are wondering, man, scrapyard is broken. Yes, it is, but you can only search out tuners, scrap tuners, not any monsters. So I always thought that you can search out scrap chimera, but you can only search up, you know, scrap tuners. So I mean, that's it's a little bit balanced. I wish it didn't have that, you know, uh, prevention. Uh, one foolish burial. Uh, Two Fiend of Chains, 
Two Chains and Starlight Road, uh, Judgment, The Solemn Brothers, uh, Bottomless Trap Hole, Compulsory, Torrential, and Call the Haunted. The reason why we're running Call the Haunted for a lot of reasons bring back your uh, Scrap Dragon, your Scrap Monsters, you know, a lot of stuff you can do with Call the Haunted. Just Call the Haunted put it into a lot of work. Uh, onto the extra deck, we're running two uh, Arch Fiends, just the fact that, you know, we have Goblin and whatnot. We're running Crimson Blader for either for the Mirror Match or for Dragons or for Prophecies or whatnot. Uh, I know this doesn't hurt Prophecies that much, but, you know, Priestess, whatever. Uh, one Scrap Dragon, uh, two strap Scrap Dragons, my bad, I don't know why I say one. There's two clearly, I don't know what, what's going on. Two Scrap Dragons, uh, main heart engine of the deck basically it what makes the deck flows a lot better you know it's a good generic uh level eight but it's when it's put in in its own deck it does a lot of wonders it basically brings whenever it's destroyed you can bring back one of your um scrap monsters from your uh graveyard to the field that is really good we're running one stardust dragon for two reasons one if you can synchro summon it to it or you can special summon it through uh, Starlight Rose. So, I mean, overall, it's a win for win, basic with Stardust Dragon. One number 11, big guy, uh, for Red Ox. And, you know, if you go into Arch Fiend or if you have two Red Ox on the field. Uh, one Draco Sack for the same reason. Double Shockmaster. Now, call me crazy for this, but there was many times that I could have gone into two Shockmasters with this deck. And I, didn't ha I only had one. So, I mean, I bumped it up to two. I mean, that's just player preference, but... Two Shockmasters put in a lot of work. Uh, one Maestroke, one Diamond Direwolf, uh, Dweller, just to dwells on those tears. <laughs> just kidding. And Cowboy and uh, Black Chip of Corn. Uh, that's basically basically it. The side deck is just, I just put this last minute, trust me. You can copy it if you want to, but this is just last minute side deck. So, I mean, just saying. So, anyways, guys. Uh, Make sure if you have any questions, comment below. Also, check out my channel if you're interested on my other deck profiles or you're interested on seeing on um, variant of the deck. So, anyways, thank you guys for spending uh, your time on watching this video. Anyways, thank you, Sinon, for letting me on your channel. I really appreciate it. Anyways, make sure you like this video, comment below, and also check out my channel. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.